Okay, guys, we got a couple of questions and suggestions on what to test. This is still bolted to the bench from the other night. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a baseline with this big holly. I think this is an 850. Just the way it is. And then we're going to throw a couple other things on it and see if the airflow changes. Now, to be honest, I don't believe we got enough flow going through this cylinder head to make much of a difference. But it'll be uh, it'll be interesting to try. Okay, 197.4. The reason I'm retesting it is because it's a different day. So it's only off a touch from where it was. Now let's see if we can bolt on this K and Ed's. K&N snub stack and see if it makes a difference. I know what it used to, uh, it used to help. Uh, we'll see if it makes a difference on the flow bench. I'm going to say two or three CFM. That's it. Okay. It doesn't quite fit this style carb. See how it has a little space around it. I don't know if it's really going to help at all. Let's uh, turn it on and try. Okay, I saw 201.2. It went up a touch. I'm, I'm a little surprised. I, well, I was expecting to, so it went up uh, four. All right, guys. Next phase is going to be a brand new, brand new K and N I've had sitting around. I use the same one on my Chevelle in the uh, the old work truck. It's been on the shelf for years. We're going to pull it out of the box and put it on and see what happens. Okay, K and N drop base does not fit this style carb with the giant vacuum diaphragm, but I have a I have a spacer. Let me show you. Don't ask me where I got this aluminum spacer for, but it seems to come in handy. Why don't we test it with just the spacer and see if it goes up, and then we'll put the K&N on top of this. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, I always like the looks of this, you know, six inch element. I guess I think it was a six. I can measure it for you guys. Okay, I thought it was a six. It's a five inch element. It's got dead bugs in it. It's been sitting on the shelf for a very long time. But we're going to test it. See what, would, uh, see what, uh, how much airflow we lose through a big K&N. It'll be interesting. <laughs> Okay, that's what I saw, 196.9. The reason I always ran a, a giant K&N is because I have 900 CFM fuel injections on the Chevelle and the, uh, the old work truck. I didn't want to uh, choke it with a restrictive air filter. Okay, if you're interested, that's the model number. I don't even know if they still make it. But if you buy one, uh, tell K&N I sent you. Maybe they'll send me a check. This is, uh, this is what I saw, 196.9. Practically no resistance there on that filter. Okay, where did I get this salad bowl from? I have no idea. But it's an interesting piece. I, I don't like how they did the inner edge. I think the inner edge could have been done better. But let's put it on and see if it makes any difference in our airflow. <laughs> Okay, it's about what I saw for the salad bowl, 189.2. I may fill that edge with uh, clay and see if that makes a difference. First, I want to try it on top of the solid aluminum spacer and see if that makes a difference. <laughs> 